Hey YouTube, it's been about a month since I've made an update video on El Cheapo, but i um, making guys an update now. So I've added a new D5 pump. It's in the back of my case. It's mounted. So, and I took the old pump that was in this reservoir out because it sparked when I plugged it in because I didn't plug it in all the way and it blew. So junked it. But um, I also took the input of the liquid to the top for this reason. So you see how the fluid is flowing in and making bubbles? Alright, so when it makes those bubbles, it actually changes the color of the coolant. So my tubes are a bright red now instead of this uh, dark red here. It used to look like this, and now they're bright red. I'll put a picture in the end of the video of what it looks like between the dark red and the light red. The light red, I'm telling you, looks a lot better. Um, I'm going to get a new... Uh, water block that's actually see-through here and sooner or later I'm gonna upgrade to a thermal take core x71 case get rid of this Corsair Air 540 so if anybody wants to buy this case comment let me know do whatever I'll leave my email so you can get a hold of me but um, I also want to get a MSI uh, I think it's like H 170a I think Motherboard has the LED light strip down here, and it's RGB lighting, so you can change it. And I also want to get a 6700K i7. Uh, right now I'm running AMD, which sucks ass. And I also got this new uh, Gigabyte GTX 970 here. Box collection, but there it is. Good old box collection. Those dudes are over there. Sexy bitch up here gaming down here i had a clean like really bad I'm like i was having tim hortons or some shit but um yep that's pretty much the update um let me know what you guys know uh, so, oh yeah i also got a new power supply too corsair cx 750 i think it's not modular i, I know i should have got a modular one but i didn't have the money to do it but uh thanks youtube like comment subscribe see ya